Hey everyone, Sega Superstar here, and today I'll be doing a, another figurine review on this amazing, unique Sega Prize um, Hard Girls Dreamcast figurine. Now, I recently reviewed a Sega Saturn version of this, and I'm very um, happy and relieved that these sort of figurines have been released in the anime merchandise community. Um, I'm a massive fan of the Dreamcast, you know, so many memories, so many fun memories, uh, Sonic Adventure 1 and 2, uh, Power Stone, House of Dead, I know, it, the list goes on and on. And uh, yeah, I just saw this on Nippon Yasan and, and bought it straight away, just for old memories, you know. Um, reliving those old memories in the past, one of good times. So yeah, I'll do it once over on the box, guys. So, as you can see here, this is what you'll be getting inside the box. But what I've noticed today, especially, is that the design on the figurine is slightly different than what the box is portrayed, but, you know, not really uh, massive differences, so I won't even bother going into detail. But I have learned and uh, done some research that there is two versions of this. There is a variant version, which has more um, accessories that comes with it. So as you can see on the front of the box here, she has holding hold a sword, so uh, I think in the variant version she's got like guns and whatnot, so it's really cool. So yeah, I've got the basic version, and yes, this is a Sega Prize figurine, so this is a cheap figurine, it's not expensive, so if you guys get time, or have money, go purchase this cheap figurine from uh, Nippon Yasan, or wherever you guys normally shop, and it is definitely worth it, it is a very beautiful figurine. So as you can see on the box, guys, on the front here we've got the Sega logo on the top right, got some Japanese information here, and we've got the figurine there, nice illustration of the figure. Pretty cool indeed. Um, on the sides we have an anime version of the figure, which is very nice. On the other side is uh, just a slightly different view of it, the Dreamcast logo down there, classic Dreamcast logo. Um, on the top is just some writing and on the bottom it's not much, but on the back shows you the basic assembly um, instructions of how to put it together. So yeah. Um, illustration artwork is done by Key, which has been done also for Hatsune Miku artwork and whatnot, and illustrations. Um, there's the old Sega Prize logo over there, everyone's familiar with that. So yeah, that's the box done guys. Without further ado, let's show you the figurine. So here she is at the box and assembled, and I've got to admit guys, she is amazing. I'm loving this figurine on every level. And sculpture wise, paint job wise, colour wise, it's all there. It's the quality's all there, it's great. For a Sega Price figurine, it is delivered on all categories in my opinion. I'm loving the design of the Dreamcast. And I'm just loving the base here, loving the design on her dress and her tie, it's just fantastic. So I'm gonna do guys give you a 360 view of her. So you guys can see what she is and everything else, blah blah blah. And yeah, I'm just very, um, I'm impressed, I mean, I love the design of this figure, I mean, I don't have this sort of figurine in my collection, and being a massive Dreamcast fan, Sega fan, uh, this brought back a lot of memories, and I just had to get her, um, so yeah, and as you can see her, she goes around, uh, very a lot, obviously this is a humanoid version of the say, uh, Sega Dreamcast, and yeah, there is great similarities there, the base is fantastic. So what I'm going to do now guys is do a zoom in so you can see a lot more detail. As you can see there, if you noticed a few um, logo similarities here, especially the end of her hair. She's got lovely uh, sort of candy floss coloured pink hair. Really fantastic vibrant hair. Uh, you can see on her top of her attire there, it's replicating the Dreamcast side. And her especially... Um, the belt buckle there, you've got another Dreamcast logo there, and obviously her sword on the left, and her sort of cape clip thing at the top there, she went around. You've got the V memory there that you just saw, which I'll give you guys another proper look. Loving the attire on her, on her leggings, boots. The Dreamcast uh, base itself is pretty awesome. details here. Now the sword is quite epic, 
loving the sword, but be very careful guys when you buy Spicarine, this will break if you play a bit too much. Very um, delicate PVC material. So, we'll do a quick zoom in on her face. You guys can take a better look at the uh, Dreamcast padded to her forehead, which is quite funny and unique. You can see there, it's pretty cool. Very nice. And as you can see, as her come around the side here, you can see a V memory card thing that the Dreamcast used to use. Virtual memory. So, yeah. Definitely a beautiful figurine. Definitely worth getting. Um, just a few um, tips, guys. When you go out shopping for these sort of figurines, or you shop on, I normally do the majority of my shopping online on uh, Nip on Your Sand and whatnot. I mean, you guys normally shop on Army Armour probably or JList.com, whatever. Um, don't have this sort of thing in your mind, like this sort of frame of mind where. Um, because I've noticed now, after collecting for so many years, that these cheap figurines um, can just deliver as good and as decent as the high-end figurines. And it frustrates me sometimes so much that when you buy, it doesn't happen all the time, but I've noticed it sometimes when you buy a high-end figurine, that the quality isn't all that. I mean, you know, they haven't, they haven't, they don't tick all the boxes. But then I find it quite funny sometimes that just a Sega prize or any sort of... Um, budget range figurine anime figurine um, range actually ticks managed to ticks all the boxes which is quite funny um, and frustrating at the same time when you when you go out your, your way to buy a really high-end figurine and it doesn't meet the standards or requirements that you're expecting and it's quite frustrating guys but when you go out to comic cons maybe in the future don't sort of dismiss the idea or oh, I'm not gonna buy a cheap figurine because it's gonna be crap it's not guys it's gonna be just as decent as the um, Maybe seven, eight times out of ten, it'll be just as good of quality as the high-end figurine. So, you know, keep that in mind when you go out next time. To a Comic Con, or to a shop, or when you shop online, obviously, you, you know, you can't obviously see it as much. But, yeah, the quality is all there, guys. It's just fantastic figurine. I'm happy with it. I've got no uh, problems with figuring whatsoever. And definitely should be admired and uh, showed all over the internet. So anyway guys, that is it for my review. Um, thank you for watching if you've managed to go this far. Um, let me know what you think down below in the comments. You know, Give me a shout out for any Dreamcast fans out there. And uh, yeah, give me a thumbs up if you like the review. And um, if you like my content, please subscribe. I'll do the same for you. And uh, yeah, that's it guys for the review. Uh, stay tuned for more news and reviews. And I'll see you soon.